we've come to Sussex University to meet Dr. V, who is working on completely revolutionising our perception of taste. Hi. Hello. Dr. V? Yes, it's me. Kate. Yeah. Dr. V is an expert in multisensory experiences in the human and computer interaction lab here. He's got a major plan brewing. I heard that you have an ingenious way of drinking tea without a cup, without a mug, without a spoon, literally zero utensils. Absolutely. This futuristic invention could transform our culinary experience. What on earth is this? Um, <laughs> so, so what you are seeing here is what we call a, uh, a levitator. You want to try? I'm very excited. OK. The levitator uses opposing sound waves to create invisible layers that can trap an object and suspend it in midair. No way! <laughs> So oh now my goodness! Floating. It's just floating yes. in midair. Yes. Are we in space? This is incredible. Now I want to know if a heavy mug seems to improve the taste of tea, then what does floating tea taste like? Ah! Yeah. Uh, I just like catching flies. It's so tricky yeah. to taste just a yeah. tiny, tiny amount. You can get bigger, you get better over time. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can train yourself? Yes. Uh, the interesting finding that we, we found is that uh, the taste, when you, when you try in the levitator here, is more uh, intense compared to the taste outside. With my taste buds in need of training, Dr V suggests something more substantial. Ah. So you can make a ham sandwich. I think that's the smallest ham sandwich on the planet. Okay. <laughs> Got all of them. Jack well one. done, well done. Oh, that bread tastes really sweet. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, that's interesting. Sweet, are you sure it's not cake? Um, it is not cake, no. So, Chi, this is all great. I mean, this is, this is really fun. Levitating food and having a taste, it tastes a little bit different. But what is the point? The, the system that we imagine is that we can have the, the food be levitated. So you, you can just open the mouth, put your tongue out, and just drop on your tongue. Love that idea. A little bit like a sushi conveyor belt. If floating food catches on, dining out could be much more fun. But they'll have to supersize these portions if it's going to take off.